Hey Wrangler 4xE fans, I'm sitting in my Wrangler 4xE and I realized one of the things we've never made a video about is the center cluster and there's all these different screens in here. What do they all do? Let's run through them. So first of all, just to see how we're navigating through this, there are the arrow keys on your steering wheel and you can go through all the screens by uh, going up and down and if there are sub menus within each menu, you go to the left and the right to pick those. So just so you know, you won't see my thumb throughout this video. That's what we're looking at. So we're going to stop at, start at the very top here where you have a clock in the upper left hand corner. And these things are all changeable. We'll, we'll see here in a minute how to do that. But you may be looking at your screen saying, wow, mine doesn't look like that. Why is that? Well, we'll, we'll get to that. So right now on my screen, I have a clock. There is an acceleration coach. There is an indicator as to whether I have max regen on or not. If I go over here and turn that off, you can see that disappears and comes back on from the screen. It'll show you what drive mode you're in. If I select hybrid mode, it will change it to hybrid down there. And if I put it back to electric, it'll go back to electric. If I put the vehicle in four wheel high auto, it'll show you that on the screen. And if I put that over into four high part time, it'll show that too. And it'll, you know, anything else you do there, it'll show that. My total trip or my total odometer is down at the bottom. This, that P shows you what gear you're in, of course. And on the right, I have it set so that I can see my electric range in both percentage and, and total range there. So that's what that is. And in the upper right hand corner, I have it set that I can see temperature. Like I said, we can, we'll stop here at the end of this and we'll see how you change all that. So the second screen is the vehicle information screen. And this gives you a lot of cool information. There's all my tire pressures. There is my coolant temperature. There's the transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, and oil life as a percentage. And the uh, low voltage, the 12 voltage battery voltage. Um, that doesn't show you anything about the high voltage battery system. That's just the low voltage system. Screen number three is your off-road screen. If you turn your wheel, you can see it'll show you the degrees that your front wheels are turned. And the second screen inside of that is your inclinometer or your pitch and roll. If the vehicle is off-road and you get at an angle, you can see that. And it'll actually give you a warning when you're getting a little too far towards the, the tipping point. Screen number four is the adaptive cruise control. If you are out driving, you can see it'll give you some feedback if it sees another vehicle. It's a really neat screen. And screen number five is an energy economy screen. Now you can see right there, it says 43.4 miles to the gallon. That is a little bit of a problematic number because the Wrangler 4xE does not track electrical energy used, although it does track the miles used. So don't compare your vehicle to others. Use this as a, a gauge of how you are doing. In the case of my vehicle, I have been doing a whole lot of green barring here lately. You can see I just have a few tips there where I've driven a little bit of hybrid miles, but I've been doing a lot of electric driving and that has really driven my miles per gallon up. Now that's a dirty number, so we'll call it miles per gallon watt, but it's a, it's a little bit of a dirty number because I'm not measuring my electrical energy. I'm only measuring the miles traveled and the fuel used. So it's a little bit of a problematic number, but you can track that and really, you know, you can get that number up pretty high. Now, when you are driving, you might find that if you switch Switch to the second screen as soon as you put the vehicle in drive in electric mode that thing's going to jump up to 99 miles per gallon and just sit there they've capped it at 99 miles per gallon and that's one of the reasons why this is a, kind of a, a weird number on this screen is because it's not really miles per gallon but like i said you can track that number over time and the higher you get that you know the more you're driving in electric mode the less carbon emissions you're doing and actually you're coming out ahead from a cost perspective too, since electric in most parts of the uh, the country of North America, and I think most parts of the world, electric is always cheaper than gas per mile. So that's a way to track how you're doing there, but it is a little bit of a weird number. I just wanted to warn you there. So that is screen number five. Screen number six is your hybrid information. Now, 
This will show you your range on the first screen within menu six. It shows you your range. I have 16 miles of electric range. I have 343 miles of hybrid range. And then my total is 359 miles right now. And if you go to the second submenu inside that, you have your the um, acceleration coach. Now that is the same as what I currently have on my screen on the left side, so I hardly ever use this screen, but it'll give you a little bit of coaching into how you're doing from an acceleration and braking standpoint to optimize the vehicle for the most uh, efficient energy use. The third screen in there, is, or there's two sets of arcs there. One goes all the way to the left and to the right. That's your the electric energy use or recharge screen. And as you're driving, you will see that go to the left and right. And the inner arc is, only, is the gas engine. So since we can't recharge and recoup any energy, it only goes to the right. But it will show you kind of the percentage of your power that you're using out of those two propulsion systems. And then finally, in the last little submenu in screen six, it tells you which mode you're in if you switch between the modes. Let's go down to screen number seven. This is probably my favorite. This gives the trip, your A trip odometer and the B trip odometer. Now, I, today I've driven about nine and a half miles in electric only mode. I haven't run the gas engine, so I have nine and a half total miles for the day. It's saying I'm getting 55.6 miles to the gallon. We're going to call that miles per gallon watt because that's kind of a dirty number since we haven't used any gas today. But if I go over to the second screen there, that's my B trip odometer. You can see I've done 522.9 miles in electric only. 30 hybrid miles, 553 total miles. That's telling me 49.4 miles per gallon watt. And that I've driven, what, 24 or 23 hours and 35 minutes and 47 seconds. That's what that's all about. So that I believe is all in screen number seven. Screen number eight is your audio, whatever you're listening to over here in this guy. It's going to uh, give you, you know, feedback there. If you're listening to iTunes or if you're listening to uh, something on Spotify, that information will come over here into the screen. You can see it right there. Um, messages, you know, I've never had anything come up in this. I really don't know what this screen is. And I do apologize for shooting this video and not familiarizing myself with that. But I just have no idea what that is. And I haven't read the owner's manual to find out. So I have to leave you homework. You have to figure out what that screen does and get back in the comments and let us know. Screen number 10 is the fun one. Now, if you're wondering how do I get all these different things in different ways on this screen in my Wrangler 4xE, it says press OK to enter setup. So I'm going to hit OK over here. It will let you pick what part of the screen you want to modify. And you can pick, like if I go in this upper right-hand corner and I hit OK, I can now say, no, I want a clock in there. Or I want the uh, average miles per gallon in there. Or, you know, the current miles per gallon or my A triple dominant, you can put whatever you want in there and then click OK. And now I'm going to come down here to this right side and I can do kind of sort of the same things. I can put whatever I want in there. This is really handy if you want to customize the Wrangler 4 by e to, um, to really be what you want it to be and seeing the things that you want to see on this screen. So... That's about it for uh, this little demonstration. I don't know how to get out of this thing now that I'm in it, but uh, we'll work that out later. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Take care.